Hello Arturians, welcome back again to my channel, Arthur Gaming. Today, I want to compare between Rifleman and Virus Expert. Which one is better for PvP, PvE, and what is the skill that best to level up? First, let's see the Virus Expert skill. The first one is Sample. Additional loot can be obtained from infected in the wilderness. This skill is not even worth to level up once. I mean, Claw and Beast Tendon? You don't want that. The second one is Activation Tech. When making a serum, there is a 20% chance of obtaining an extra product. Yes, this is not worth to level up as well. Why I max it? Because I thought the materials to make the serum is hard to obtain. I found out it's extremely easy to get. <laughs> so yeah, don't level it up. The third one, Virus Bullet. Once weapon virus are developed, most weapons can have toxins attached. This skill is really good and important for you to max it as soon as possible. It increases your virus damage dealt by 10%. Toxin bullets can also decrease enemy health point, so it's really important skill for a virus job to level up. The fourth one, efficient use. Diffuser effect duration is 30% longer. You might want to level this up to max as well, since longer durations means more healing. It's a good skill to have. Next we have Team Blessing. This skill is really, really good in team fights such as CTC or Nancy if you are willing to use the Hardeners of course. It increases your HP regeneration and shield recovery by 20% at maximum level. So it's really important skill to level up. Next, Toxin Enchantment. This one is... Hmm, I think it allows you to shoot more toxin bullets before actually consuming one of the serums. So for example, if you shoot once, it consumes one toxin serum. Now with this skill, you can shoot twice before it consumes one toxin serum. I think it works like that. Well, not really great stuff. Only level up if you have a lot of new dollars. Next we have Diffusion Tech. The radius of diffuser increased by 60%. This is also one of the important skills for the virus job. In teamfight, this is really amazing. It can cover more area so more teammates can be healed. Level this up to maximum. Next is Poison Penetration. Well, if the description is right, this skill is hella useless. Why? Because it reduces your opponent SP regeneration by 10%. So I'm assuming at maximum level, you will only get like 50% and you know we all only have like what 2 or 3 HP regeneration per second at most so reducing it by half is not really useful not to mention the cost to upgrade this skill is expensive as well so yeah only level it once or no need at all next we have T hormone skill this skill is very situational in PvE such as Death High this skill is amazingly great since you will be shooting on top of the book cells the entire time. So having a boost from this skill really benefits you. But in PvP, this skill isn't that great as in PvE since you want survivability more there. And I heard it's not working in some places like Cambos or something. Well, I haven't tested it though. We'll confirm it once I know more later. Next, we have Virus Effect. Just looking at the description and you will know you have to max level it. It increases your virus damage by 15%. There is no need explanation there. Just level the skill to maximum. Next we have Medic Span. This skill is more useful than the previous one since this one reduces your opponent HP medicine recovery instead of HP regeneration. But the downside is that you only have 5% to actually activate the skill. So yeah, only level up once you have spare new dollars. Last one we have Viral Contagion. This skill is also nice. You have 1% chance to deal 50% virus damage to enemies nearby. In PvP, this skill is very situational. But in PvE such as Death High, this skill is gonna be amazing. Since in Death High, you will most likely hit group enemies. And they're quite tanky as well. So yeah, having more damage will definitely help. That's all for the virus job. Now let's move on to the rifleman. In here, I will just explain a little bit since most of you already know what skill Rifleman has and this is an old job anyway. So yeah, what I want to explain here is 
Rifleman is actually the best combat class only only if all his skills are working I mean skills like this break the surface it's not working for PvE so it's completely useless skills for Rifleman on PvE content and on the badge this skill also not working for PvE content it only works at PvP but okay since we are talking about PvP now so let's take a quick look about Rifleman skills the good skill for PvP is this one this one, this one, this one, this one, and this one. Destructive Madman is a very situational skill since we rarely need to destroy buildings. The only building we need to destroy is CTC and... And that's it. Or maybe if you like raiding as well. But then again, no one breaks building with assault rifle bro. Everyone is using Howitzer for that. So yeah, we don't actually need this. Next is Battlefield Recovery. This one is good skill since it increases your medicine recovery. A really good skill to level up. Crippling Fire. This is a must have skill for Rifleman as it will stop enemy from sprinting. It's extremely useful in PvP when you shoot the document runner. This is one of the best skill Rifleman has. Next we have Quick Hemostasis. When using an assault rifle, Oh yeah, did I mention that you need to equip assault rifle for these effects to work? I mean, if you are equipping bad for example, you won't get these bonuses. So yeah, that's another downside. Anyway, just level up this skill once since it's not worth your new dollars. Next up, we have Drone Expert. This skill is useful for rifleman as it increases drone damage and reduces drone cooldown skills. Definitely must level this one. Next is Jump Suppression. This skill is also good but not worth to max level it, if you haven't leveled up the other important skill to maximum. Next we have Armor Piercing Missile. This skill is nice, really good, but just level it once since leveling it only increases your chance to ignore the enemy armor by 5%, not big compared to the new dollars you spend for leveling up. Next is Precision. This skill is good, but the precision it gives is a bit low, so just level it once for now. Last one is Drone Turbo. This skill gives your drone a portion of your seal. Quite good, so now your drone is more tankier. But why only when you're using assault rifle? I mean, do we have to run using assault rifle? No, right? Well, that's why, in my opinion, Virus Expert is better for now in terms of PvP and PvE content. But again, if they fix rifleman skill, I'll choose rifleman any day. Well, now, let's see those two jobs in PvP. Enjoy!
Well, that's it for today's video, guys. In my opinion, Virus Clash is still better than Rifleman, both in PvP and PvE, unless they fix the Rifleman skill, of course. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.